Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on ramen cocktails. Today we are going to make a watermelon daiquiri. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here. As always, timestamps are down below if you want to go right to the recipe. Otherwise, here's a little bit of talking. In my opinion, a daiquiri, in order to be a daiquiri, has to have three things. It has to have lime juice, it has to have rum, and it has to have sugar of some form. In order to get a flavored daiquiri, you have to change the flavor of one of those things. Either you have a flavored rum, you have a flavored sugar, or you add a different juice. Still have to have the lime juice though. In order to make this daiquiri, I'm going to be using a watermelon syrup. I do make my own syrups. The recipe is here on the channel. Link will be down below. It'll also be end at the end of, end of the video if you want to check it out. In this case, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of watermelon juice in the form of some watermelon. I'll show you how that's going to work in just a little bit. A note on the rum. You're going to want to use a white rum for this one, I think. Um, a darker rum, an aged rum, may be overpowering in a watermelon. Watermelon tends to have a lighter flavor, so I would like a, a, a white rum. And I'm going to use Trader Joe's Rum of the God. This is kind of my go-to. If you want a better daiquiri, you can use a better rum. The first thing I'm going to do in order to make this drink is add the rum. Two ounces of rum, two ounces is 60 milliliters. Then one and a half ounces of the watermelon syrup. One and a half ounces is 45 milliliters. And this is a one to two syrup. If that means anything with watermelon syrup, check out the video. Three quarter ounces of fresh squeezed lime juice. Three quarters of an ounce is 22 and a half milliliters. And this may be a little on the tart side for some. My wife will be drinking this later and she likes some tart. So I'm going with this. Finally, a couple chunks of watermelon. I'm going to put those right there in the shaker. Just small ones. Remember, watermelon has moisture, so this will change your proportions a bit. So don't, don't put too much in, is my point. Add your ice. and give it a nice hard shake. If you want, you can single strain. If you want, you can double strain. If you don't like the little bits of watermelon that are gonna come with this, double strain. I don't mind the little bits, except that they clog my, my shaker. And as you can see, this is getting right to the lip. So if you want, you can use a little sidecar to pick up the rest of it. And that's what the watermelon itself will do. It'll release a little bit more moisture in the form of water. So that's that. Garnish. Um, I like putting a little bit of watermelon. I include the rind because I think that's pretty. And this is pre-cut. I also sometimes like to use a lime wheel in addition or instead of. So I'm going to put that there. We have our sidecar and we have our watermelon daiquiri. Drink with good spirits.